Dear friends in Christ, happy weekend to you all. Today is Saturday of the 27th week in Ordinary Time Year 2. Welcome to the Liturgy of the Word with Father Evaristus Egemeyo Abu. How would you feel when someone praises your mother in public because you have done something good? Jesus was pleased with the woman in today's gospel passage, but being a teacher, he used the occasion to teach a very important lesson. What is this lesson? Please stay tuned as we break down God's word today and do well to share this video with others if you find it impactful. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty ever-living God, as we study your word today, we beg you to grant us the grace to understand what we read, to believe what we understand, and to practice what we preach. We make this prayer through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Today's first reading is taken from St. Paul's letter to the Galatians, chapter 3, verses 22 to 29. Responsorial Psalm is from Psalm 105. And our gospel passage comes from the Holy Gospel according to Luke chapter 11, verses 27 to 28. First reading, a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brethren, the scripture consigned all things to sin, that what was promised to faith in Jesus Christ might be given to those who believe. Now, before faith came, we were confined under the law, kept under restraint until faith should be revealed, so that the law was our custodian until Christ came, that we might be justified by faith. But now that faith has come, we are no longer under a custodian, for in Christ Jesus you are all sons of God through faith. For as many of you were baptized into Christ have put on Christ, there is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither slave nor free. There is neither male nor female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. And if you are Christ's, then you are Abraham's offspring, heirs according to promise. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. O oh, sing to him, sing his praise. Tell all his wonderful works. Glory in his holy name. Let the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Turn to the Lord and his strength. Constantly seek his face. Remember the wonders he has done, his marvels and his words of judgment. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. O children of Abraham, a servant, O descendants of the Jacob, a choose. He, the Lord, is our God. His judgments are in all the earth. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessed are those who hear the word of God and keep it. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, as Jesus was speaking, a woman in the crowd raised her voice and said, Blessed is the womb that bore you and the breast that you sucked. But he said, Blessed rather are those who hear the word of God and keep it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to Jesus, honor to Mary and Joseph. I often hear people say, Blood is thicker than water. However, the water of baptism is thicker than blood. And this is what St. Paul teaches us in today's first reading. For all of you 
who were baptized into Christ Jesus, have clothed yourself with Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither slave nor free person, there is neither male nor female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. Galatians chapter 3 verse 28 See your fellow brothers and sisters, your fellow Christian brothers and sisters, as your blood. Because we have all been baptized, we have one baptism. Let there be no quarreling and division amongst us. In today's gospel passage, a woman was carried away with her admiration for Jesus, and she exclaimed, Blessed is the womb that carried you and the breasts at which you sucked. Her statement was a fulfillment of the prophetic statement of, Je of Mary when she sang a Magnificat. She said, For behold, henceforth all generations will call me blessed. Luke chapter 1 verse 48. Jesus used this occasion to teach that even though we are not related to him by blood, we share in Mary's blessedness. Brother, blessed are those who hear the word of God and keep it. Luke chapter 11 verse 27. This statement of Jesus at this occasion resembles what he said when he was told that his mother and his brothers were outside waiting for him. He said, whoever does the will of my father in heaven is my brother and sister and mother. Matthew chapter 12, verse 50. In other words, when we do God's will, obey his words, we become the mother and the siblings of Jesus, and we too share in Mary's blessedness. Mary is blessed because she gave birth to Jesus, but more importantly, because she heard God's word and obeyed it. She gave her fear, I agree, to God when the angel Gabriel announced to her that she would be his mother. Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Let what you have said be done unto me. Luke chapter 1 verse 38. This is the same attitude Jesus expects of us when he said, Blessed rather are those who hear the word of God and keep it. Was it easy for Mary? Did she have it all rosy, saying yes to God? The woman in today's gospel passage admired Mary, but would she have willingly accepted to carry Mary's cross? We often admire successful persons, but we find it difficult to put in the work that guarantees such success. To share in Mary's blessedness, we too must embrace self-discipline. We must crucify the flesh with its desires. Confer Galatians chapter 5 verse 24. Do you think Mary was lucky to have given birth to God? Jesus is telling us today, create your own luck. Obey God's words, no matter how difficult this may seem, and you too will be carrying God in your womb. As a shining example of goodness, if others are inspired to come out of their darkness, it means that you have given birth to God for them. You have incarnated Jesus in the world just like Mary. It is blessed to keep God's word. In conclusion, St. Paul points out in today's first reading that we are justified by faith and not by law, having been freed from the curse of the law. However, our faith demands that we hear God's words and keep them. We keep God's words because we love him not because we hope to be justified by the keeping of God's law. We keep God's law because we are his children, and our faith makes us understand that we are God's children. So we keep God's law as his children, 
not like workers who obey their master they don't love just because they want to secure or they want to earn their salary. May God bless his words in our hearts. May God help us to find happiness daily by practicing his words to help us understand that it is blessed to keep his words. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and forever. Amen. Go forth. Our celebration today is ended. Thanks be to God.